Sclerotinia stem rot is a very severe disease and economically important for Canadian canola growers. It can uh, reduce yield by up to 50% depending on uh, environmental conditions and inoculum loads in the, in the field. So conditions favorable for sclerotinia disease development really are high humidity, damp soil, little air movement through that uh, canopy, uh, warm weather. This is where sclerotinia will really thrive. Farmers are gonna see sclerotinia disease symptoms in a crop that are first gonna present themselves as a soft, watery uh, rot on the leaves and the stems. It will cause premature ripening, uh, crop lodging, and the inability of the plant to produce pods with, uh, with fewer seeds. So really in the end, affecting the yield of that crop. Growers really need to be proactive against sclerotinia as if you see it in your field, it's too late to do a, a spray, a fungicide application. So some of the things that we can do are uh, um, scouting, uh, looking at the environmental conditions, grow sclerotinia resistant products. Uh, these products are gonna have uh, built-in protection for uh, the whole season long to protect against sclerotinia. Uh, crop rotation is also important. Growing a canola crop after uh, a non-host crop, such as a cereal that, does, uh, um, that is not affected by white mold or sclerotinia, that uh, is another very important step. And the final step that can be taken is applying a foliar fungicide, which is really best applied at that 30% bloom when most of the flower petals are out and will be able to get covered with the fungicide. The Pioneer Sclerotinia Protector Trait is in high yielding hybrids such as uh, 45 CS40 and P505 MSL. Pioneer Sclerotinia Resistant Trait has been in development uh, in our breeding group for over 20 years combining new sources of sclerotinia resistance together and put them into a complete agronomic package. The sclerotinia resistant trait can offer over 65% disease reduction, uh, less than disease transfer and disease severity. Basically, we are a canola technology hub. A lot of different activities that happen here. Compiling all the genes responsible for uh, sclerotinia tolerance uh, ones that are good for leaf tolerance and stem tolerance. And also we uh, do some precision phenotyping, which is key to characterizing our products. We will lay down drip tape, uh, inoculate with ascospores, and cover the nursery with a shade cloth to have that high humidity, warm environment at that canopy level to accurately score and rate our sclerotinia products that we're commercializing into the Canadian market. These are the products that get advanced into high yielding uh, canola hybrids with a sclerotinia resistant trait, along with next generation club root traits and strong agronomic package all around. By choosing a Pioneer Protector canola hybrid with sclerotinia resistance and applying a foliar fungicide like Acapella, growers can maximize their protection.